Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 7th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you want access to our signal service, our full technical analysis, or even our live trades and courses, you're welcome to head over to Patreon. You can see the link below this video. So let's start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have been rallying for quite some time. Basically, in the beginning of uh, November, we bottomed in this market and we rallied all the way up towards 1355. And that is roughly 5.33%. That is a massive rally for only nearly a month, a month or and, and nearly four, five weeks, I should say. But we have found major support here, the resistance, I mean. We ran into resistance at the... Uh, 13, uh, uh, 1355 uh, and now we are trading underneath the previous highs here and this candlestick is looking very bearish I have to say the technical indicators if we look at them we are way overbought in the RSI so this could be a sign that we will have a pullback in this market and the, st um, the stochastic is looking weak the CCI is flat and also the Bollinger Band, we're basically above the top of the Bollinger Band here. So it is a sign that we most likely will pull back. So the question is, how far we pull back? Well, I would guess that we will pull back towards the 20 exponential. That's at 1331 before we rally higher. So that is probably what we will see on Monday session and Tuesday, probably also Wednesday, Wednesday session that will gradually grind towards the 20 exponential before we rally higher. Of course, if the 20 exponential breaks, then we head towards the 40 and the 50 and here down at the 13, uh, 10, that will be a major, major support and uh, we'll most likely rally from there if we ever get that far. So let's look at the US dollar yen. And as you can see, we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential moving average, and that is around 104.270. And that was also expected. We were uh, way over oversold in this market, or nearly oversold, and a pullback was expected. So uh, we'll find also major support here around 103. And this is basically a selling opportunity. We are in a downtrend or a, a channel when we have been here for months and months, ever since March uh, this year. So for nearly nine months, we've been in this downward channel. And the opportunity here is that every time we get close to these very highs, then we basically can sell. Or even though we get close to the 20 or the 50, that is also selling opportunity because we have been just um, catching these highs, selling them, and catching these lows and buying them. That has been the case with this currency pair for the last nine months. So at this point, technical indicators are fairly mixed. So the MACD is bullish. The C RSI is bullish, the CCI is flat, and the stochastic is basically flat at this point. And so we probably need some clarification of where we are going. We could probably try and rally towards the 50 moving average. And if we get rejected there, then that is the even better selling opportunity for this currency pair. But the target or the best that could basically happen here is basically the rally up towards this upper trend line, which is nearly here. That is roughly 105 and then sell it towards the very lows here at, the, at around 102. So let's look at Euro, US dollar. And we tried to rally up towards these previous highs from yesterday and got rejected. Now we have this inverted hammer and this is a very bearish shine. Uh, so most likely what will happen here is that we will have a pullback towards this these previous highs here as a 1201 and um, and then we'll most likely rally from there so we are significantly overbought in the in the in the in the this currency pair so the rsi is at 83.66 um the stochastic is looking weak at this point it's turning around the cci is basically turning around and we can see at the bullinger band here 
we are way we have been trading way over the line in the Bollinger Band. We have been overstretched for four six um, four days now for trading days now, and now we're seeing a pullback. And this could indicate that we'll head back towards these previous highs, or even better towards the twenty moving average, and that's around eleven ninety three, and that is basically your entry point to this market. So no interest in basically buying this at the moment. It is probably possible to short it. I would rather wait for the pullback towards the 20 uh, exponential moving average and then rally uh, from there. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. And as you can see, we have found uh, additional um, resistance here at 0 0.74. And um, at this point, I think that we are going to uh, break down a little bit, probably towards the 20 exponential, around uh, 0 0.73477. And the reason why I say that is because we are significantly overbought. We are at 86.75 in the RSI, and these technical indicators are not looking as bullish as they have been. So it may take a while, um, or we can just have a massive drop um, on the Monday session, it most likely will depend on whether or not the US dollar will continue to depreciate. It has been depreciating for the last two weeks now, and we are expecting a pullback in the US dollar. And that is probably what is going to trigger uh, most of these pullbacks, for example, in the Great British Pound, Euro, uh, US dollar, and Aussie US dollar. So a pullback towards the 20 um, exponential moving average is probably your entry point for a buy in this market. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, it has absolutely fallen apart. There is it's absolutely free fall at this point. So you can't even find the next um, support level. So the reason why I found so support here is because we ran into support historically over here. But it is just in, in an absolute free fall. We are at 10 in the RSI, significantly oversold. And at this point, we are just looking for a pullback in this market. There is, there is almost a guarantee that we'll pull back towards these previous highs of 12.87, and uh, then we'll probably continue downwards. Um, it would be better trade if we rally up towards the 20 exponential. It will probably travel this way, and we could basically get it here at 12.93, and then sell it even further. We are most likely going to capture this uh, previous downward channel again within the next month or two. But at this point, expect a pullback, even though these indicators are extremely um, bearish at this point, the RSI is just so oversold that the, and a pullback is inevitable at this point. You can also see in the Bollinger Band, it is very, very um, overstretched. And you can see basically what happens when it gets this overstretched. It basically breaks to the upside quite uh, aggressively. Um, and um, that could actually happen on Monday session towards the 20 moving average. And then you can start selling it again. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. You get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our live trades. So good luck and thank you very much and good weekend.